First up, my gentle Kapowians, just a, a small word of warning. Jihad from Humanoids Publishing is pretty damn out there. Oh, come on, I don't know what's so out there about a, a Russian dictator trying to channel the soul of Genghis Khan to create a new empire, or somebody creating a mad clone of Sir Isaac Newton, or aliens stealing the body of Vladimir Lenin. Yep. Pretty much answered my own question there, didn't I? Yes, you certainly have. <laughs> now, Jihad was originally released in English under the name The Horde, mm. but has been re released in a hardcover edition under Jihad. Mm. Writer and artist Igor Boranko has created quite a perverse but compelling vision of the world in 2040. Yeah, and I think what I find most engaging about this is how readily and how easily you accept all of this mm -hmm. weirdness. And I think a lot of that is down to the art style that Boranko has utilised for this story. Bouncing between stylized and naturalistic imagery from page to page and from character to character you find yourself drawn into this story almost against your will. Yeah, I found the character of Joe especially fascinating. Mm. A mystic and the last living Chechen following the brutal genocide of his people, he embarks on a mission of vengeance from God. And that's just one of the stories that are running through this book, all changing and intermingling, but you never feel like you're being left behind when you're mm. reading it. <laughs> yeah, and besides the story elements, there are so many concepts and ideologies vying for dominance here mysticism and science fiction, insanity and philosophy, Buddhism and fatalism, even a baby smoking a cigarette. Which I know is not, technically speaking, a concept, no. but I felt like it was worth mentioning anyway. I wanted to share that. Um, so I think if there is a problem with Jihad, it's that you're going to be feeling like you're doing it a disservice if you don't read it at least twice. Yeah, that's true. You can get your story from the first run through, but second, third, fourth go through this, you're still learning new things. You're coming up to different angles. It's, it's like somebody's taken ten philosophical tracks, mulched them together and baked them into a cake. But it's more appetizing than she makes yes, it sound. Okay, that was an imperfect metaphor. Was, Move on. It was. Uh, Move the, on. The point is, <laughs> this is a buy for many reasons, yes. and not least of all the fact that you'll want to revisit it so many times. High concept, high drama, and so weird, you may start wishing you had taken the blue pill instead. I, I think this is one you want to check out if you have the chance. Yeah, I could not agree more. This is a book that makes you feel smarter and stupider when you've finished reading it. <laughs> but true. it's crazy. Mm. Every time you go through it, you learn something new. I know we haven't spoken much on the plot in yeah. this, but there are so many elements, so mm. many things that happen that we don't really we, want to we, give we, anything yeah, away. And we don't want to just do half measures no, on this. No, yeah. take our advice. This is a buy from me as well. It is a phenomenal book and you need to get your hands on a copy of Jihad.